Yesterday, the Washington Commanders won big time without even stepping on the field. Yesterday, the Washington Commanders had a bye, and while they were sitting back in their couches watching the NFL, the NFL was doing them a big favor. The Carolina Panthers beat the Seattle Seahawks yesterday, and of course, the Philadelphia Eagles handedly took care of the New York Giants. What does this mean for the Washington Commanders? Well, simply it means that the Commanders now are not only back in the playoffs, but are in the sixth seat of the playoffs. So before the tie last week, Washington was holding on to the seventh seed of the playoff spot. They, they tied with the New York Giants, and then Seattle won last week, bumping the Commanders out of the playoffs temporarily onto the bubble once again. And then yesterday, there was a bye week for the Washington Commanders. The Philadelphia Eagles handily took care of the New York Giants. And I guess by... Um, by a tiebreaker or whatever, since the Commanders have beaten the Philadelphia Eagles, the Commanders were able to move back into that seventh spot, of the, the seventh seed of the playoffs. And then the Seattle Seahawks lost yesterday, which moved the Commanders up to the sixth spot and then moved the, uh, the New York Giants back into the seventh spot. So... It's crazy. And I told you a couple of videos back that this is going to change a million times before we finally see the final seeds of what's going to happen, who's going to be actually in the playoffs come week, what what is it, 18? 18 or 19, I don't know. Um, they keep adding more weeks. But here, here we are, folks. The Washington Commanders are... I mean, if the season ended today, they would not only be in the playoffs, but they wouldn't be in the last seed. They would actually be the second to the last seed, but they would firmly be implanted in the playoffs. I think this is just this is just wonderful for the commanders. This should give them the boost they need. And after seeing the Giants get fully dismantled, now the Giants have to go to Washington for a rematch with the commanders. The Commanders being well-rested, hopefully they're going to get some players back. Giants now coming off of the beating. This is going to hit them pretty hard because now the Giants are going to have to turn around and face Philadelphia again at some point, and they have a rough road ahead of them. Now, for the Commanders, if they can take care of the Giants, only thing that the Commanders really have to do is they have to keep winning out. They can just keep winning, taking care of business. They're going to be okay. Now, I think all of us feel like that the Commanders will wind up dropping a game before the end of the season. I put up a poll in my community tabs asking, what do you think the final record of the Washington Commanders will be? And about 40, I think it was 43% of you said, or 48% of you said that it was going to be 10, 6, and 1. And that seems to be probably what's going to happen, I, I feel like. Meaning that the Commander's going to wind up dropping one game. So is that game going to be against the 49ers? Uh, that could be the likely scenario because the 49ers are just playing lights out football right now with their Mr. Irrelevant <laughs> quarterback. And, I mean, they're just lighting things up right now. So that could be the game that the Commanders uh, have troubles with. Now, they need to take care of business against the Cowboys at the end of the season. That's going to be a big game, too. But, you know, that game we're getting at home. And I, I think that we can beat the Cowboys. The Cowboys almost got upset big time against the one win Houston Texans. So... Anything's possible, right? And let's not overlook Cleveland as well. You know, they got Deshaun Watson back. We we know that Deshaun's going to be rusty because he hasn't played football in about a million years. So, you know, things, we don't know how things are going to be in Cleveland, but um, we should try to take care of business.
with Cleveland. But let's focus on the Giants right now. Let's just focus on the fact that the Commanders had a great weekend yesterday without even trying. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.